Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. So in today's video, I was planning to transplant this uh, gazenia. Now this has been grown from the seeds. I had basically scattered the seeds everywhere and I'm not very sure how the seeds ended up in this because a lot of times the seeds are very light. Now I am going to be uh, transplanting it because this uh, container was a wooden container that I had uh, made it into a pot long time ago and because of the rain and you know the weather conditions uh, it is starting to uh, break down so I'll have to throw it off so I thought before that let me uh, transplant this uh, gazania plant so very gently I will poke into the soil and get the plant out so here we have our plant is out of the soil and this is how it looks so we will go ahead and repot it in a very small pot now ideally i prefer to go with smaller pot this has around 10 percent of coco peat uh, which is going to be the base soil uh, and then i will be adding another type of soil so guys it's going to be a little difficult because holding the phone in one hand and uh, repotting it's very difficult but i'll try my best to do that so once the plant is kind of secured i will be going ahead and using the uh, soil mix now the soil mix is nothing but a mix of garden soil and sand uh, basically more of sand now because these plants are native to the southern africa uh, that's why we need to have a soil mix that does not retain a lot of moisture in it they are kind of drought tolerant plant if there is excess moisture in the soil mix or in the pot then this plant will get rotted so we have to be extremely careful so i will put in some more of the soil uh, basically sand and garden soil tends to work out really well apart from that the pot is really small so the soil is also going to dry out faster we do not want to have excess moisture in the soil because a lot of times it starts to rain and the plant gets wet so i do not want it to be sitting in soggy wet soil otherwise it will have a root rot so we have already made the soil mix uh, i had already made another uh, pot which I had repotted last time uh, it already had two blooms and I had put it in the same type of soil mix and it was doing quite well so this time I thought I will use the same soil mix again so this is the uh, plant that I had done the repotting a long time ago uh, you can see there is another bloom which is already dried out so I'm going to take it out because this is what I have been doing I have been collecting the uh, dried flowers and then taking out the seeds and you know putting it back into the soil because right now it's the monsoon season the germination rate is a little bit faster as compared to what it was during the summers and there is another bloom coming up on this it is the same color uh, which uh, the flower has just bloomed it is the same color so i will be leaving it as it is again you can see even this soil mix it is 10 percent cocoa peat and rest is garden soil and sand so you can see it's very loose very porous uh, and the water tends to uh, drain out easily from the pot it doesn't stay inside the pot and the moisture is not retained so we need to have a soil mix like this Initially, I was looking out for this particular plant so much, I was not able to find it. But now it's everywhere in the garden and it's growing like weed and I'm very happy about it because that's exactly what I wanted. Now, of course, I'm not going to be watering it right away. I will wait for a day or so. It's already starting to rain. So there is going to be a little bit of moisture that will come in contact. So I won't be watering it today. Probably I'll water it tomorrow. So by then the plant is going to get kind of adjusted in the soil mix. So guys, it's pretty simple to, uh, you know, grow this plant while seeds uh, you can even separate it uh, through root division for that you'll have to take out the entire plant out but what i have noticed is the seeds tend to germinate really fast and uh, they tend to bloom also very fast uh, initially when i had bought some seeds online they did not germinate i don't know for what reason but this time when i was taking out the uh, flowers once they were done and i was putting them into the soil they started to germinate i thought probably i'll have to put all of the seeds because last time none of them were germinating but this time no matter how many seeds i have put all of them have started to germinate which is a very very good sign also as i've mentioned this earlier as well uh, the blooms tend to stay for around three to four days uh, usually three days and uh, they start blooming early in the morning and by uh, early evening they start to close and they last for three days which again is an amazing thing but as i said uh, don't throw the seeds off for once the flower is spent and the flower is dried collect the seeds as much as possible uh, if you are from an environment wherein they do not uh, 
flower during the winters then probably you can sow them during the summers because in my environment they tend to even bloom during the winters as well i think it all depends upon the environment and climate in some places um, they are treated as perennials in some locations they're treated as annuals a lot of them uh, people tend to grow them during the summers as summer plant so it all depends upon your environment and climate but if you are a person who's looking out for flowering plants that are easy to take care then this is one of the plant you can definitely add in your collection another thing what i've noticed about this plant is that uh, they do not need a lot of fertilizers because i don't even remember the last time when i had fertilized the soil for these plants and still they germinated and in fact they have started to put out flowers even without putting any of fertilizers so if you are a person who's looking out for an easy uh, growing flowering plant and this is one of the flowering plant you can add in your collection but guys the most important thing is sunlight they do require a good amount of five to six hours of direct sunlight only then they will bloom profusely so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting